wonderful Christmas and a fantastic 2023. Join me as we take a look at my Comic-Con highlights from this year before we rank my top five guest interactions. Quite surreal watching those clips back. It feels like a lot of that was a long time ago. And in reality, I've only been making content since August and I've done so, so much. So a big thank you to everyone that has been on the channel this year. I really appreciate it. I will name you all at the end. I will not forget you, I promise. So this year we visited Star Wars Celebration Europe, Comic-Con Wales, Comic-Con Scotland, MCM London, and LFCC winner. So lots and lots of cons. And we will break down my top five guest interactions. And some of these might surprise you considering if you've been a viewer of the channel for a while, you will see I've met some big, big names this year. And some that will be left out that might surprise you. So let's get straight into this list. Number five for me is Rosario Dawson. Now I met Rosario at Star Wars Celebration Europe back in April. And it was the first photo op I've ever had with a guest, which was pretty amazing. Um, it was a shame with Star Wars Celebration Europe, it was so busy, which is obviously expected, that you're rushed in and out, but she was really, really nice. Her mum came out into the queue and said hello, and said thank you for everyone coming to see her. And then the actual guest interaction was this. So this is a photo that me and Megan got with Rosario Dawson, and she was lovely. The first thing she said was hello, and then she commented on Meg's jacket and said she really liked it. And Meg was really nervous going into the photo shoot, so that took her nerves away. And it was a really nice experience. It was just a shame it was so quick, but she was lovely. So that is why she's made it into my number five on the list. Number four was a very spontaneous one for me. It was Olivia Cook. Now, I did not get an autograph from Olivia Cook, but I was in queue with Coombsy, Dan and Mark. And she, again, was lovely. Here's some footage of us meeting Olivia Cook. Yeah, the heavy night last night, so my voice was dying. Did you? Where'd you go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we started off in Camden. Yeah. And then we ended up in Earl's Court. And then God knows where. Well. What time did you finish? Again, it was a really, really good interaction. She was very happy to just chat about anything. Was asking Mark about what we'd done the night before, which was quite fun. And was talking to Coomzy about Ready Player One, which was really cool. And her accent drops, if you notice from the clip from my LFCC vlog, which you can check out in the description below. So yeah, number four is Olivia Cook. Now we're getting into the big hitters, the top three. Now number three for me, uh, again, was quite a spontaneous guest, was only announced a couple weeks before the con and was an absolute pleasure to me. I think everybody that met him at Comic-Con Scotland would fully agree that he was an absolute pleasure to me. His cues were crazy, but he was honestly, he was so awesome. So my number three, is Cameron Monaghan. So I got this pop signed to Joe. He chose the pen. I didn't even have to give him my paint pen. He said, oh, I'll go with the lightsaber. He's put trust in the force on the side and he was an absolute pleasure to meet. Um, he remembered Leroy's name, re-signed the pop for Leroy Screwballs after he had a bit of a mix up with, um, with his paint pen and got smudged and he was happy to redo it again and not let him pay again, which was really cool of him. And then we had a photo op, which is this one here. And as we went in for the photo op, he said, oh, hello, Lee. So, yeah, really cool. A lovely attention to detail. It's really nice when guests either remember your name, call you by name and stuff like that. It's just a really nice touch, especially considering how busy these events are. Yeah, really cool. What a top bloke. And I would meet him again if I had the opportunity. Number two was a real starstruck moment for me. Um, an absolute pleasure to meet 
Uh, he's in many, many franchises that I'm a massive fan of. Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, or Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Need I say more? My number two was Andy Serkis. He was an absolute gentleman. Both myself and Tell queued for a couple of hours to get this Andy Serkis pop signed. Tell got a Caesar pop signed and I got Smeagol and Smeagol is my favourite says. So yeah, got this Smeagol pop signed and Andy was an absolute pleasure. Really nice. Um, started conversation. I was really starstruck when I met Andy Serkis. I was a bit like frozen but yeah honestly such a nice guy asking your name shaking hands asking about your day bits and pieces like that and he was an absolute pleasure it's really nice when you meet a guest that big and they really live up to all expectations and fulfill them so yeah andy circus is my number two and my number one comic-con guest interaction for this year was at lfcc winter i think all of you all know who it is and it was kit harrington what an absolute top bloke. Honestly, so nice. The queue was only about 10 minutes long, which was very, very surprising. I was willing to queue all day just to meet Kit. Um, Walking to the autograph booth, fist bumps me, asked what my name was, asked how my day was going. Had a little chat, which was really nice. Um, I was very, very starstruck. And he said, oh, do you want me to write Jon Snow? I said, yes, please, mate. It'd be amazing. Um, Yeah, really, really cool. And then a few hours later, I had my photo op, which is here. And as I walked into the photo op, he said, Oh, hi, Joe. How's your day been going so far? And it really took me back. It had been a few hours, and he was probably one of the busiest guests there. And the fact that he remembered my name and took time out, yeah, absolute pleasure. And I just felt amazing for the rest of the day. And again, I would meet him again in a heartbeat. Be really cool. I'm growing my hair out a bit, so next time I meet him, I might slick it back and try and look a bit Jon Snow esque. So that'd be quite funny, and it'd be funny to see if he remembers me. I doubt it, but if he did, that would be my 2024 made. So that is my top five guest interactions for this year. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you disagree. After seeing some of the content of the con, who do you think were my best guest interactions, and who were your best guest interactions if you met anyone this year? Please let me know below. I'd love to hear from you all. Have a great 2024 and I will see you on the channel very soon. Ta-da.